Hi everyone, this is Kieran Hoversappen from Filmstorm Studios bringing you another Unity and Playmaker tutorial. Um, this is another fan question I had. Um, this regards how to make a top down point click adventure game. So if you go to the camera, what they want to do is be able to click on the map and then the character walks to that point. So I can show you how to do that. So I have a simple scene set up here. I have a capsule, um, which is going to be the player. I have the floor, and I have two walls and the camera. The camera is at an angle, and as you can see, it's kind of up here. Um, so we want to go to the camera, and we're going to create a new FSM. I'm going to call this the movement. That's not spelled right, but I'll fix that up. And we're going to call this one idle. And we're going to create another state, and we're going to say this is the mouse. The whoop, the mouse pick, and we're gonna say, oh, we're gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna make this one the finished transition, and we're gonna create another transition. And this transition is going to be called get pick, and make this transition and put that in there. So now we have an idle and then the mouse pick. We're gonna create a um, an event or an action, and we're going to call this um, get mouse button down, and we're going to make the left mouse button go down, and once that's down we're going to say get the pick, and on the release of the last left mouse button up, we're going to say it's finished. Uh, I'm going to create a variable, and this is going to be a vector 3, which is a position, and we're going to say mouse pick pause, pop that in the inspector, and we're going to create an action for a mouse pick. And we're going to store the point in that mouse pick. And we're going to say every frame at a distance of 100 is fine. Alrighty, so now if we close this out and we say play, you'll notice whenever we click down, a position is coming up. And that position is relative on the map. So now we need to make the player move to it. So let's go back to the movement and we're going to say nav oh, let's go back to our nav mesh agent now you want to make sure that you've installed playmaker um, Play playmaker's add-ons ecosystem you can just go to the site and download that i'll put that in the description for you um, and you can just go to and just type pathfinding and this is the package that you'll want to download this pathfinding just say get and you can import it and then you'll see all of these um, nav mesh and nav mesh agents. Um, you want to go to the bottom and say set age, um, agent destination as a game object or yeah no let's, let's go for set agent destination that's the one we want and the game object we want to set is not our one it is the capsule which is the player and we're going to say the destination is the mouse pick point. Perfect now we're going to come to here and we want to make this a nav mesh agent perfect and one other thing we want to do is we want to make sure all of our objects are static objects so make sure they're all static and make sure the player has it's on its own layer and the layer is ignore raycast so that way when we click the player and he's not going to be referenced as a position Alrighty, so let's test this out. We'll press play. It can only be called on an active agent that has been placed on a nav mesh. Alright, so now we need to generate the nav mesh. So let's press bake. Let's save the scene. We're going to call the scene um, nav mesh top down. And the nav mesh is being created. Let's drag this guy up a little bit. Um, let's try this out now and see what error it's going to give us. And no, this time the character is moving around the map like we want him to. If you click the corner, he's not going to go that far. And look at that, that's working quite well. Now, we can even take this one step further and we can introduce another object in the middle. Let's just pop down this cube as a barrier that the player will have to walk around. So let's drop in this material so we can see it make this a static object and let's rebake the navigation actually let's just drag it up a tiny bit 
Let's rebake it. There we go. So now that this he cannot walk, he has to walk around this area. So let's press play. Now you'll notice if we press over on this side, he'll walk around the cube and he'll walk right back around the cube. And in this way you can make the camera move around. So right now we can make the camera kind of follow this guy. So let's go back into our inspector and let's create another FSM. And this FSM will be called follow player. And there's two different ways we could do this, but um, an easy way is just to put a smooth follow, smooth follow action. And we're going to follow the capsule of the player. We might as well just change this guy to player. There we go, that makes it a bit easier. Um, turn off the rotation, that makes it um, not able to rotate. Um, height, height is okay. And let's see, we'll have to adjust these values in game just to make sure it's going to work. Alright, so now when you press play, the camera will now move with the player. And we've created a very easy top down um, game. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, this has been Kieran Oversapien for Filmstorm Studios, and I'll catch you next time.